Hey, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. How y'all doing tonight? If y'all can hear me, y'all can see me, let me know. My name is Dr. Alduan Tart. Mecca should be joining me very shortly. We are so excited that you are joining us tonight. If you can hear us and you can see us, let us know in the chat if you can hear us and see. All right, I see y'all. I see y'all. I see Sarah chiming in. Let us know where you're tuning in from. We're based here in Atlanta, Georgia. All right, good, good, good. I see you, Wanda. I see you, Latanya. I, I see you all. Oh, that's my ministry sister right here. I see you, Kalia. This is going to be a good time. Aquanet, we're going to have a good time tonight because we're going to talk about how to adjust your picker, how to pick the right man. And of course, I know men are watching this. So this allows you to be able to say, and measuring yourself up, am I doing the right things in my relationship, in my future relationship? So I see y'all, Warner Robbins checking in, Bronx checking in, Atlanta, Georgia checking in, uh, Ashley in Atlanta, let's do it, Tony in Atlanta, Toronto, Massachusetts, Missouri, Woodhaven, Michigan, Go Blue, Cleveland, Ohio, Baltimore, Jacksonville, Virginia, Tuskegee, Alabama. That's, that's my parents' hometown, yo. So I know about Tuskegee. Oh, yeah, I know about it, y'all. Chicago, L.A. My wife, y'all, is from Inglewood by way of South Central, y'all. So y'all know my wife is black. All right, just, just keep it real. In, in no way she's anything other than she could be Latina. But she's black by way of Inglewood and South Central, y'all. So I'm excited about it. South Carolina and Milwaukee. So we're going to have a good time tonight. I am excited about it. I see Jersey in the building, Nashville. All right, a couple of rules, and then we're going to dive in because I know your time is valuable. Everything we talk about is for your education, all right? And, and know that Mecca and I are believers. We're not going to offend you with our beliefs, but we're definitely going to represent for the G-O-D. You understand what I'm saying, all right? Because this is a ministry for us, and we are so excited about just being able to, to bring you something just dynamic, absolutely dynamic tonight. So uh, if you all are ready to get started, let me know. If you're ready to get started and you want to know how to pick the right man or woman, but it is geared mostly toward the sisters, all right? But my brother's going to get something. Any men that are watching this tonight, you're going to know the three things that make for an amazing husband, according to the research. If you're, if you're ready to look for the three, how many of y'all have been on dates, y'all? How many of y'all have been on dates and you thought you had the one? How many of y'all been in a whole relationship with someone and you thought it was the one? It, this is it. Only to find out this is not it. And if I can be real, how many of y'all ever been emotionally invested in someone and it blinded you? It blinded you like you wanted them to be the one. It's just like me as a Falcons fan. I want the Falcons to be good. I want the Hawks to be good. But we don't have LeBron James. We don't have Luca. Yeah, we have Trey. But, you know, Trey and DeJounte can't play at the same time. It's just like anyone outside of Atlanta would be like, oh, boy, you know y'all not winning a championship. I want them to win so badly I can't see the deficiencies in my own team because my heart is in it. If you've been there, can you relate? Right? How many of you ever just like someone because they liked you? And then over time you start liking them and you didn't even assess whether they were a good person or not. You didn't even assess whether they were a good person or not. Not to be married. How many of you know you can have someone tall, dark, and handsome, or light skinned and curly hair? If we if we ever get back in this thing, please. Forgive Genuine for whatever he did to these ladies. Please let light skin, bright skin brothers come back in style along with my chocolate and mocha brothers. Please, please, please. All right. But but how many of y'all just 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 you you know what they can they can be a banker, they can be rich, they can be uh financially well off, they can be fit, they can be tall, they can be built, they can have a great humor, they can be amazing, but not be good in relationships. Mm. I know y'all been there. I know, men have been there too. I know a lot of times we talk about women's pain, but trust me, brothers are crying too. You know, the, what happened to the little flower that turned into a Venus flytrap, right? <laughs> but we're not talking about trauma tonight. Y'all, y'all got it. Y'all got it. All right. And so tonight, 
So tonight, y'all, and I promise my wife is going to join us, all right? Uh, little man, y'all know we have three kids, y'all, and I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Little man not trying to go down. It's like he knows when we teach, and he's just trying to be a ruckus, y'all. But we might have to bring him down here anyway, because time, time is a ticket. But anyway, so this is also geared towards my brothers, because I don't like when we get beaten up in the media and we get beaten up by other Black men like we learned how to do marriage, like someone gave us a book, a manual, and we have this great long history post-slavery about how to keep marriages together. I, I just don't like it, but we still need the information. So tonight, if you're ready to go and you're ready for men to learn, and, and I want you, because I'm already recording this, right, so that you can send this to either to your current man, the man you're dating on the man you're going to date, right? You're going to send this to him and say, these are the three things that I need in order to be happy with you as a husband. And men, when you date, women are going to say, now that's, that's a good guy. That's a good guy right there. All right. So if y'all ready to go talk, say it, say, let's go, let's go. Now I'm going to be honest y'all. Uh, Mecca is typically uh, the technical person around here. So we have some technical stuff going on. Uh, yeah, that's 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 on uh, th that's on her. All right, but but speaking speaking of Mecca, oh, would you like to join us? Would you like to join? I mean, come on. I mean, I mean, you just have me. You know, you have me welcoming the people, and I need this to present. Okay. All right. So um, we are excited. We are excited about this. We're gonna have a good time. We have a good time. All right. So this is my beautiful wife. Hello, Mecca. My beautiful wife, Mecca, and uh, we're going to talk about the art of picking the right partner, uh, avoiding heartbreak before you fall in love, before you fall in love. Now, if y'all can see this, if y'all can see this, let us know. Can you see this? Can you see the presentation in the background? Let us know if you can see this in the background. If you can see this in the background, let us know. Yes, type it in the chat and let us know. Yeah, can you see this in the back? Can you see us or not in the back? Okay, they can't see it, babe. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. So, you, so you, you can see us or you can see the presentation. All right, now let us know if you can see the presentation. All right, all right, so you see us. All right, one second, let's see here. All right, all right, so... Um, Funny thing about, so let's tell us the, a little bit, like, while well, Mecca's working behind the scenes, here you go, while Mecca's, right. Mecca's working behind the scenes, listen, listen, um, we met as underground matchmakers, y'all, I don't know if a lot of people know that, we met as underground matchmakers, all right? Yes. We met as underground matchmakers, mm -hmm. right? And we weren't getting paid, were you getting paid? No, we you weren't. You might have tried to. Have a good really? for her. I'm I'm around a lot of women due to my profession. And I'm right? around a lot of men. Due to your profession. Yes. And we just we we said, let's get together and hook brothers and sisters up. And I hooked mm -hmm. myself up first, y'all. Mm -hmm. well, I, mean, I, yes, I hooked myself up. Yes, I did. I did it so well. All right. I now so well. you all should be able to see us and actually that let me take over there. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we got now, Ladies, I, I really didn't know what I was doing. But. Ladies, fellas, if you were in the chat, please let us know. You should be able to see us and the presentation. All right. All right. So we're good to go. Thank you, babe. I, I, don't, I still don't know how you did that. But that just shows you how marriage makes you better, right? No matter how many times. I'm Because Cam is your thing. PowerPoint is my thing. And, and I don't, it does look better, though. No, I'm not gonna lie. Good. It does look better, but I don't know how it works this day. All right. So let's talk about the art of picking the right partner, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right. So who are we? Yes, yeah, so we are your personal dating and marriage guides. Listen, y'all, we've been doing this for like forever, forever. Mm -hmm. And y'all, those of you that know us know we've been doing this forever. We met doing this. Mm -hmm. We actually had an event that we did plan. We hooked people up yeah. who are still married to this day. And this is something that God put on us mm -hmm. as a ministry, right? Yes. And, and now that you're here, all right, let's pray them in. Okay. Our gracious Lord, we thank you for everyone that's here today, Lord. They don't see a, a couple that goes before you that represents God, Lord. We know it's a lot of stuff going on in culture. Culture. But Lord, we're here, Lord. Like, like Elijah, he thought that he was alone, Lord. And there are couples and there are singles out there that are watching this right now and say, where, where, where's the Bible-based technical teaching, though? Right? Where's the stuff that's applicable, that's coming from God that allows us to be able to pick quality men, quality women, and be able to pick right, Lord? So we're excited about you using us as guys. We realize that's all that we are. And we're excited about being your humble servants and working together and, and 
and being able to bless the people with marriage. You know, you blessed us with so many beautiful people to get married. So we just feel that this is the expectation, Lord, and we're excited about you using us, Lord. So we ask and pray you decrease any ego we have that's outside of you and allow us to be able to have a servant's heart. These things we ask for in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 All right. So a little bit about me, because some of them, some of you may not know, y'all. So I'm not going to be long with this. I'm a clinical psychologist and minister. That means I'm cross-trained, y'all. I'm cross-trained, right? Graduate of the Morehouse College. The house. Uh, that's right. That's right. Any any Morehouse brothers out there? Any mother, m- brothers of AUC? Right, yes. right. Any AUC? In right, right. Any any uh Bison out there? Any Howard? Our oldest daughter is headed to Howard University. Yep. H U U no. <laughs> Sorry. So I know you went to Hampton Bay. I did to Hampton. I also went to Clark Atlanta University. Right, so. Again, if we have any AUC late well, you know. house, let me know. So, you know, Ray's going to say the real thing. So anyway, all right, 26 years in, in the game of y'all uh, of doing counseling. So I do know what I'm talking about. I love the podcasters, right? We do podcasts too. All the time. But yeah. there is a need for actual data, research that's working, all right? Psychologists uh, for a number of media outlets. If y'all listen to the Willie Moore Jr. show, this is the voice that you hear every Wednesday around 4, 35 o'clock, giving y'all everything I have, y'all. Mm-hmm. All right, and then my YouTube channel, y'all check Check that out. Has 1.8 million views because of y'all. And I've been doing this for like 12 years. This whole is all right. But enough about me. Y'all, y'all met the least talented member of, of the crew of the crew. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Mecca Tart. I am the co-founder of a Weekend for Love Luxury Marriage Retreat. We've been doing the marriage retreat for six years now. We have it this year, November. Super excited about it. I have couples joining from all over the U.S. and some even from outside of the States. I am a medical device sales rep. That is my day-to-day job. Um, I'm also the recipient of the Power 30 Under 30, a graduate of Clark Atlanta University, as I mentioned. And I'm also a former fitness competitor. And I am your female perspective and your dating coach. Right. So listen, y'all, y'all see why God put us together because God, God has, it says in in Ecclesiastes four, verse nine, two is better than one because they get better return for their labor, Mm y'all. And so we we didn't, we didn't know we were going to do this. We really did not. Mm -hmm. Right. But God knew, God knew. All right. So we're excited about it. All right. And that's our crew. Yeah, and that's the crew, y'all. That's the crew. That's Raquel. And we, we have people that's up the street. So y'all gonna have to look out for 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 Raquel because you know you know how it is. Yeah, I, I know when I went to school, when I, my parents knew I was bad, actually, there were no surprises. But my brother, they were thoroughly disappointed in his behavior at FAMU. And I'm gonna call him out, but he is Dr. Sean Tart. So he did make it through. But when he came home with an earring, my mom cried. But anyway, all right. So please look out so, for yeah. Raquel. So we have our soon to be 18 year old headed to Howard. We have a seven year old little girl. And then we have our youngest, who is baby boy, and that he is two. That's right. They, they, you just forgot the names of the youngest two. Well, the youngest Raquel. I'm <laughs> sorry, Raquel is our oldest, Trinity, and also Christian. Those mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so that's the Tart family, y'all. And so, what we want is we want to expand the Black family. If you're just looking, if you're really looking, or you know, whatever your race is, but especially within our community, because we know the Black as a Black family does well, the community does Absolutely. well, the church does well. So we're gonna be unapologetic, right? We're unapologetic, regardless of whether you're blending whether it's nuclear whatever it is this is what we are talking about that you all are having and we are excited about it and any of y'all who are talented babysitters call us we will use your services in a heartbeat but you might be giving us the money back once christian once christian get down once it get down all right all right so why are we here listen so why are you here? Why did you come out tonight? You're here because you want love and marriage. Let them drop it in chat. I'm going to tell you why we think. Why are you, what is it that you want to mm-hmm. get out of? Why are you yes. here? Why tonight? Why tonight? Why right now? What is it that you want to get? Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. What's What do we have coming through on the chat? But the main thing that I hear women talk about all the time is their picker is off, right? So Either they're not meeting the right the right guy, or when they meet it, meet the guy, it's just something is off. And so picker is kind of the word, right? So fixing, I see fix my picker, intuitive guidance, ready to Tools, date again. Better marriage. I want to make sure that I'm making the right decision, not the wrong decision. And I'm seeing a lot of women say, like, my picker is off, my picker yeah, is off. Yeah. Um, I want to grow in my discernment, which is the same thing. The discernment is not where it needs to be. <laughs> Two is navigating my current um relationship. 
ready for dating again, seriously dating someone, gotcha. discerning how to listen. get qua high quality partners. Listen, listen, if y'all can tell, you know, we we operate in multiple worlds, you know, Mecca's in sales, I'm in psychology, and we both in the church. You don't get a little all of that tonight because I'm getting excited seeing the needs, right? Yeah. All right. So when I go to church, I wonder what y'all need. Then, then, then we preach y'all, right? Even though I only preach twice a year. All right. Anyways, um, y'all know I'm at Word of Faith with Bishop Bronner. So he yeah. sees it like, when, when you been preaching, brother? Like when, when I'm not at your church. All right. So uh, if you're picker is off that's a problem because if your picker is off can i say this in love yeah you don't know how to pick mm -hmm. if your picker is always off you're looking for the wrong things and the cool thing about it is once you learn what to look for and we're gonna give it to you i know y'all been through stuff presentations but you mm -hmm. you know i'm never gonna disappoint you Mecca, never gonna disappoint you because we know what y'all are looking for so your picker is off mm -hmm. It's sad because you end up dating the same people. And, and I'm going to testify this for a second. Mm -hmm. You know, before Mecca, I don't know how many of y'all are guilty. Drop it in the chat. It's going to be a little therapy session that, mm -hmm. of, of picking women who needed help. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware. Of, well, I kind of was aware of it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was going to backfire. Like I thought like I'm going to be a great person. I'm going to use all the tools I have and I'm going to fix you and I'm going to help you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be... Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be your ace. I'm gonna be down. Like right? you down, I'm down. You on crack, I'm gonna fix you crack. Right? <laughs> Whatever. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And what I realized is that relationship after relationship, I was doing all the helping and not getting any help. I'm doing all the right. apologizing, even though it wasn't my fault, just to keep the peace. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to argue. All and they were doing none of the acceptance, none of the apologizing, doing all the healing and getting no healing on the back end, mm -hmm. doing all the fixing, but no one's helping. Like, can can, can y'all? I'm saying, try. Yeah. All right. and, and I didn't know I was doing it over and over and over again. And then one of my buddies, Dr. Adam Sternberg, said, you you think it might be you? Right. I was like, fam, I can't control what these women do. He mm -hmm. was like, man, each one of them is the same girl it's with a different, a different name. name. Now, they might have different flavors. You know, I like chocolate. I like light skin. I like everything. I, all well, you, well, you only like all my, my shades skin. of the my African skin. diaspora. Anyway, back in the day, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. But can y'all relate? <laughs> Can y'all relate? Yes, I see the ladies are chiming in on the chat saying the same thing. Yeah, the picker is just off. All right. So, uh, you know, um, the king, uh, you might be here because the king you already picked needs inspiration and tools okay. and a solution. We're going to give you a solution. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to prepare. Y'all are going to get two solutions tonight, whether it's marriage, whether it is dating, whether it is future day, you'll get two solutions to take action on tonight. We're going to let y'all be ready because this is not just right. talk. We are both, you paid to get what? Results. Yeah, you, you, you don't get results, we don't, we don't eat, right? <laughs> right? And if I don't get results, we don't eat. People don't come to me for right. motivational speaking. They come to me to get healed, right? Right. So we want to make sure that the king's out there watching or the king's going to watch, we're going to make sure that you have what you need. Mm -hmm. Or we know that you're ready to take action on your goal for love. Listen, you are tired of being the bridesmaid. You are tired of your OBGYN asking you about, okay, oh. have you met somebody yet? Do we need to start having discussion around freezing your eggs? Like those conversations weigh a lot, but they're real conversations when you get to, to a certain age yeah. and you have your annual visit with your doctor. So it's about, you've made a decision that this is your time now. It's not anyone else's time, but it's your time. And, and y'all saw it. It was all over Instagram and Facebook. You know, Gail, Oprah's friend announced the big report that marriages are up mm -hmm. and divorces are down. Mm -hmm. And that does not surprise us because right. first of all, I do premarital counseling every single day. Yeah. We counsel couples, uh, you know, I mean, like with, with so, retreat people yep. hit up yep. Mecca and mm -hmm. like, I'm going to send them to me. Right. All right. People hit me up about the, the, the details of the marriage retreat. I'm like, what, what kind of man do you think I am? I'm not a planner. My friends are planners. The details. Like I learned about details when y'all learn about details. All right. But uh, we want to make sure that uh, you, you all have what you need. All mm -hmm. right. Let me not, let me not tear. All mm -hmm. right. So yeah, you're tired of them. Mm -hmm. Tired of these questions, but it's your season. Right. So how was it that marriages are up and y'all not getting married? Oh, yes. not after the day. Yeah. All right. Why this matters? Loneliness and constant heartbreak takes 10 to 12 years off of your life expectancy, ladies. Look at that again. Loneliness and constant And I misspelled heartbreak, y'all, before y'all say what kind of PhD is it? I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't spell check. All right. So, but loneliness and constant heartbreak, heartbreak takes 10 to 12 years off of your life expectancy. Mm -hmm. And 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 so that means that when you want to be in a relationship, 
and you cannot, right. or you're in something right. and it's dysfunctional, right. but you don't want to get out of it. That takes, that takes, that takes years off of your life. It takes years off of your life. I was trying to give you a hint, girl. I was Thanks, texting you, but you weren't looking. But anyway, oh. all right, all right. So many, many people, y'all understand, married folks, y'all understand, right? Uh, and another thing is that many people are in denial about mm-hmm. how important getting married really is to your future happiness, especially the ladies? Well, I don't think that they're in denial. I think it's really that we, I think with women, it's like if if it hasn't happened, all women will say, okay, well, that's because like people aren't getting married anymore, which is why I love that that stat came out because you really, what you surround yourself with, like we're surrounded by married couples in our neighborhood. And that's all we see at the marriage retreat. It's sold out every year. So that's our reality. So you have to really be around that environment. But you know what I see, you know, is uh, women who are coming in and as they get older, I'm surprised. And and you've talked about it with certain members of our family, right? Mm -hmm. That you were surprised at certain aunts and cousins all of a sudden say, you know what? I wanted to get married. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I didn't know. That as I got older, especially middle age, and we'll show you the stats in a second, Mm -hmm. that marriage was important. I didn't know that in 2024, that the 2034 version of me has been happier. Right. right. Not working all the time. Right. Right. Not not planning everyone else's wedding. Right. Not taking care of mom and dad all the time. Right. Giving away all of my yeah. life. I, I really wish I would have gone out and found right. my person so that I can be happy too. Right. 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 I really wish watch with someone to do life with. All right. Mm-hmm. And so in real life, off the Internet, marriages mm-hmm. are up and divorces mm-hmm. are down. Mm-hmm. Right. People are getting married. So so why not go for it? And, and we're not here for you to just get married. Mm-hmm. Like we want you to be happily married. There's a mm-hmm. difference. We all know people who have been married. Right. Yes, we do. We, we want you to be happily married. Right, babe. And I just realized that I just put my name in That's... the box. I'm sorry, babe. Yes, I, I didn't realize that. Just, I, right. It was there from work. It was, no, when you weren't down here on the tech side, I couldn't, I couldn't That's change okay. it to Dr. Tart and Mecca Tart. Absolutely. All right. My bad. I don't want to, I don't want to get blessed out after this. It's okay. Some, someone just um, chimed in the chat about, you know, divorce and then also seniors finding love. Listen. The seniors are finding love. Oh, and record numbers. Let us show you. Bam. All right. So let's mm-hmm. talk about why we should aspire for godly, happy marriages, because there's an attack. How many of y'all believe that there's an attack on marriage Absolutely. just in general, but especially within the African and African American community? How many of y'all believe there's an outright attack? We see the gender yes. war- wars that is planted, right? It Those is. things are being promoted. They're being boosted. Right. They're being funded, mm-hmm. right? It started with Kevin Samuels, right? But Derek Jackson, where well, you see that there's this war, right. right? There's this war going on to divide the genders, mm-hmm. Right. But here's the thing. Why? Because if they want to hold us back. The best way to hold us back economically is to keep us from getting married. Absolutely. My income plus Mecca's income. Get those get those sales, girl. But those sales is 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 it's more income and mm-hmm. allows us to expand our family without stressing out, mm-hmm. even though eggs cost twelve dollars. Right. So 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 when they did a study really quickly. Marriage was the most important differentiator between happy and unhappy people. Ooh. I mean, that's deep. this is from a University of Chicago study based on some economists. This mm-hmm. is from economists doing a study at University of Chicago, mm-hmm. right? And what they found was... They found that marital quality is a top predictor of life satisfaction, how satisfied you are with your life, oh, more than education, money, frequency of sex, and job satisfaction. I think this is real because when I talk to women who come into our ring formula cohort, they always say, yeah, I have the education. Like I have the degree. I have all the money. I have my own house. I have this amazing job. But the one thing that I'm missing is the love of my life. And the men come in and say, look, I'm getting sex. I'm getting sex. Women Mm -hmm. serving sex on a platter, right? Mm -hmm. I had sex on a platter. Remember that song? Anyway, they serving it up, but I'm still not fulfilled with catching bodies. I want to build something. Mm-hmm. And we went to a conference, you know, we're talking to the single brothers and married brothers and single brothers came up and said, you know, for the first time I realized the difference between me and you guys is that you're building something with your right. wife. You're building family. You're building legacy. You're building community. You're building traditions. Mm-hmm. Like we just had Easter, yeah. which, you know, we had a big argument, y'all, because Mecca invited way 
too many people over here, y'all. I right? love, I love to be surrounded by like yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're spilling tea all on the couch. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but it's all good it's about family, right? And so but anyway, they see these things and they're looking like I'm not building with anyone, right? right? And catching a body uh, used to be fun when they listen to Trey songs, but now they get old and get more mature. They want the real deal. Right. They mm -hmm. want the real deal. No one wants to be lonely. Mm -hmm. All right. And here's a shocking statistic, y'all. And then we're going to dive in, mm -hmm. right? Is the odds that men and women say they're very happy. Just don't, don't, this is from the study. Right are 545% higher for those who are happily married versus unmarried or trapped in unhappy marriages. That is it's what is, the, there's proof. Right. When they say he who finds a wife finds a good, good thing, thing and gains favor, yeah. 545% yeah. favor mm -hmm. that you can be very happy in a happy marriage. Because mm -hmm. I know y'all can push back and say, no, nah, my mom right. and daddy were happy. Or I have a next door neighbor, a sister right. and brother married, and they're killing each other, right? Right. No, we're talking about a happy marriage. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And guess what? Getting married in middle age increases happiness the most. So, so what you didn't get married in your 20s. So what you didn't get married in your 30s. But guess what? This stat shows that getting married in middle age increases the happiness the most. Right. Because you you realize that it's not education, money, frequency of sex, job satisfaction. You realize that building life mm -hmm. together, um, connecting, doing things together. And that's why you see middle age and up. If you look at the U.S. Census data, mm -hmm. marriage rates are up. Why? Men are ready to marry. Mm -hmm. Right. Men are ready to marry. In the 20s, you know, I might be trying to figure out whether it's Serena, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, 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 Beyonce, or, you know, you know, my girl. Who's my girl? Who's my girl? Other than you, baby. Uh, your girl is me, but sure. But the person who you who you think is amazing too is Rihanna. Come on, come on. Uh, but you didn't see those photos, recent photos. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I did, I did. I, I just swiped on past after the post birth, you know, post birth. You know, that, that's rough. I didn't want to look at that, right? But y'all, y'all get what I'm saying, right? So what I'm saying is that uh, right now, what I'm saying is that in 2034, and 2030, 2044, 2054. What you're doing right now is going to matter to your future happiness. Now, for those of you that's like, look, you know, relationships is not my thing. Right. I'm going to have a, a, a good uh, a good um, list mm -hmm. of girlfriends and mm -hmm. guy friends. Cool. Right. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. But let's dive in. Y'all got it? Yeah. All right. I want I want y'all to see these things. Right. I want mm -hmm. y'all to see these things so that y'all know that because y'all don't y'all don't see these stats. Mm -hmm. Right. Y'all hear people say they don't want to get married. But really what people are saying, mm -hmm. I don't want to be in an unhappy, dysfunctional right. marriage. Why would you not want to be in adult marriage? That's going to increase your wealth, your happiness, your joy and your ability mm -hmm. to expand family. Right. All right. So let's talk about it. All right. The research came out and they found three things. So if you're picking a future husband, all right. If so, you pick future husbands who do this for a happy marriage. It's what we want you to do. We're going to give you the three things. We're going to break them down. Are y'all ready? Are you ready, lady? This is what you should be asking on first date. If you're already married, these are the things you need to ask your husband to work on. If you're a mm -hmm. husband or a future husband watching this mm -hmm. and you want to succeed in relationships, because the reality is we right. do want to succeed. Who want to fail in relationships? Y'all think we do as men. I just want to sleep with a bunch of women. Who wanted that for the rest of their life? Right. Fail when you find someone you really, 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 really like. How many of y'all been in relationships and you know that man loved you? He just failed to mm -hmm. demonstrate the skills needed to make that thing work. He just mm -hmm. didn't know what to do and it got too far gone. Absolutely. All right. So we're going to talk about the three things according to uh, the research, y'all, because y'all know I am a researcher. All right. I'm a researcher. All right. So number one, number one. It's being trustworthy. Does he say what he says he's going to do? This is something you can find out very early on in the relationship. And sometimes ladies, because of a man's resume, will make excuses for him because of the excitement of what he looks like online, what he looks like on his resume, but he's not trustworthy. So that's number one. So trustworthiness refers to the degree which a partner can be relied upon to be honest. Honest. Faithful, faithful and consistent in their actions consistent. and their words. If the actions and words do not match, this is not a guy that you should entertain. 
or he needs to do some work. Because sometimes as men, we're consistently inconsistent in some areas, right? We call, and other times we don't call, mm-hmm. all right? We handle our business and we fall off, right? Mm-hmm. And so a great husband builds trust through his actions, y'all. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not coming up here like super husband. Um, Mecca's not coming up like super right. wife. We are guys. We're telling you these are the things that, uh, since we're talking about husbands, that we have to measure ourselves off of mm-hmm. if we're going to say I'm a good husband. Mm-hmm. I have to be consistent. Mm-hmm. All right. She has to be able to trust me to get security and safety because if I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. All right. And so it involves being consistent with actions, transparent, keeping promises. And then also a great husband builds trust through his actions, demonstrating that his partner can rely on him under any circumstances. Well, and I saw something in the chat that says, and we're reading these chats, that's what yep. it's here for, is interactive saying middle-aged men do not want middle-aged women. They are looking for younger women, all right? Some of that is true, but when we look and see, most people marry around the same yeah, age. Two, but years. let me be keep it real, because y'all, y'all going to pull my card. They're looking for women who are young and vivacious in spirit. Right. A man's not going to bypass, unless it's, unless he wants children or something like that. He's right. not going to bypass uh, a Felicia Rashad. Right. Right. He's not going to, who's else? Some, someone that, that's aging well. Um, An- Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. Come on now. They're Pauletta, not going to, well, you're not, you're not, you're wife not bypassing any of them. Right. But they want its energy. So when you right. fall off. And you don't have that vivacious energy. You're not taking care of yourself. You're not glowing because there are a lot of men that just like the woman who they're with, regardless of age. Right. Right. And also coming from the chat that a lot of guys that someone mentioned, a lot of guys that they've come across over 40 are still kind of browsing around, playing the field. Let's see, see, perception is reality, is. right? And, 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 and y'all are saying this is real. So this is your reality. Right. Because your picker's off. Mm-hmm. See, see, your comments are telling they're telling on you in a good way, right? Mm-hmm. They're identifying. This is called self-awareness. Right. If you've dated mostly men who, and none of them have been serious, you're mm-hmm. picking men who are not marriage-minded. Right. How was the marriage rate going up for Black folks too? Right. All right. How was the marriage rate going up and mm-hmm. way up? You look at the numbers, it's up. Yeah. Right? All right. How was, how was the number going up, but the men you're l- dating are not marriage minded. Mm -hmm. Same thing. How is it that I'm dating more and more women who need help? Mm -hmm. And y'all sisters out here, black girl magic, you be like, look, brother, I know I I cook, I can clean, I can make a million dollar deal, Mm -hmm. I can pray. All these amazing black women. How was it that I was dating women that needed all these help? And we're talking about trustworthiness and some women are like, you know, men will pretend just to get the goods. Again. All men. Again, we have to make sure that our picker is on point so that the guy that's only in for the chase, for the hunt of getting you for one thing, you're able to identify that right off the right off the bat from the beginning. So here's a takeaway. What you do is you're going to watch what a man mm-hmm. does. You're not going to listen. You're going to see if his words and actions are yeah. a lot of times we date too quickly. Yes. And then you look up and he's not trustworthy. You shouldn't fall for him before right. he's demonstrated trustworthiness. Mm-hmm. Brothers in the chat, can you chime in? Mm-hmm. Until we show you that we can be that guy, we can be him. Right. And if I say I'm going to meet you in the gym, I'm going to meet you in the gym. If I say I'm going to be there to support your fundraiser, I'm going to be there right. to support your fundraiser. If I say I'm going to give the kids a bath, I'm going to give the kids a bath. You don't have to believe me. Just watch me. Yes. Right? Just watch yes. me. If LeBron James say he's going to win the game, Ron Bron going to win the game. <laughs> Maybe not this year, though. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about sports, but y'all get it. So what you're looking for on a date is you're looking to assess how trustworthy you mm-hmm. are. And yes, brothers will lie, but let's come on, y'all. It's, it's keys to this. It's levels to this. All right. Yeah. You don't ask me if you're trustworthy. Who's going to say no? All right? right. But what you ask is like, tell me some things in your relationship that prove that you are trustworthy. Mm-hmm. Would people in your past say that you're trustworthy? And what you're looking for is, does he keep promises to himself? If he says he's going to work out as his brother in the gym, this brother says he's open up a business. Is he opening up a business? Mm-hmm. Does this brother tr- trustworthy? To, does does he faithful, consistent right. to himself? Right. Does does he keep promises to himself? Right. Does he does he show integrity to himself? Is he honest with himself? Mm-hmm. And so over time, it does not take long to be able to assess that. All right. Mm-hmm. So you're looking for someone who's trustworthy. And men, this is the area where we have to work on being consistent. 
Mm-hmm. Consistent. Absolutely. We have to communicate even though we're upset. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter what's going on. We still have to be there for our wives and family. Those kids on that picture, our kids, they don't care what's going on with dad. They don't care. Mm-hmm. I'm just keeping yeah. can I talk to the black man? Yeah. It's hard being a black man. It's hard being a man in general. Mm-hmm. Right. At the end of the day, I can't tell Mecca I don't have it. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't have that luxury. Y'all know it's men we put that. I can't say that. I, I can't tell Trina no, we we can't afford your dance lessons. I can't we can't can't tell Christian uh, no I can't afford mm-hmm. to give you a, a quality babysitter. I can't tell Raquel no you can't go to Howard mm-hmm. University. We, I can't say that. I have to go get it. Right. I have to go get it. It doesn't mean a sister girl can't help me, right? But at the end of the day, the buck stops with whom. If we're talking about leading a family, mm-hmm. it's 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 on me. Mm-hmm. All right, and it doesn't mean we're not a partnership. I'm not mm-hmm. one of these people that says you know men do everything. Not not in this day and age. He's not. He's like, go get those cells. Yeah. What do I need to do? Tell me where to pick up all the kids. I'll pick up all three, right? We do homework on, on different levels. All right. So y'all got it. So number one is trustworthiness. Number two is being influenceable. Ooh. Are you able to influence this man? Influ- influenceability is the willingness to be influenced by one's partner by actively listening and valuing the opinion. This is a big one. Yeah. This is a really, really, really big one. A man that says you can't change me or does this right here. You met me this way. You can't change me. I love you, brother, but you're going to make for a terrible partner because how can you be a partner? Come on now. Right. And be uninfluenceable. Like, what are you doing? Right. And, and, and so this is this mindset change. So it's, it's about, it's about being open to, to thoughts and feelings and, and needs and, and allowing them to influence uh, actions and decisions. And I always talk about this really quickly. I, I share this story with the ladies all the time. There was this guy that I was going on. I went out on like two dates with, and the second date was our last date. He was someone who was in the music industry and, you know, had a prominent position and throughout the date, he kept cursing. And I told him, I said, I'm a lady. I don't really like men cursing around me. That's not my thing. And he kept doing it. And so guess what? I asked him, I asked him twice. He didn't stop. That was our last day. And he called me literally like every day for like several days and then called me like two or three weeks later. And I told him, I said, I told you what my expectations were. So he was showing me Someone else would have been like, oh, well, just maybe that's just his thing. But it wasn't my thing. So it showed me, one, he wasn't trying to impress me. Two, I was not able to influence him. See, this is big. He, he could care a lot. Are y'all getting right? it now? I think, I think y'all are identifying. We told y'all we'll come with that fire in Jesus' name, right? Mm-hmm. If a man is not going to be influenceable, if a man is not going to listen to you, right. how is he going to make for a great long-term partner? All right, Dr. Gottman, who's one of the most preeminent psychologists in the nation, y'all, in the world, says relationships are most successful when men are willing to be influenced by their female partners. Mm -hmm. This is the red flag of all red flags. That man is not willing to be influenceable. Mm -hmm. If you're in a marriage with someone who's not influenceable, we're going to talk to you about how to deal with that, right? You know you're going through a problem because Mm -hmm. can we get biblical for a second? Mm -hmm. He who finds a wife Mm -hmm. finds a good thing. Let's, let's break it down right there. So he who finds a wife, which, which means ladies are to be findable. We're going to get there. You have to be findable. Can't be at home. You need to be out. You need to be out here. You need to be outside. Findable finds a good thing. That means you're good when he met you. Right. You were already good. You were already a wife. So he who finds a good thing, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and gains right. favor in the Lord. Mm-hmm. So what that means is that if you're not willing to listen to the good thing, how are you going to gain favor? You can't gain favor without listening to the good thing that God created out of your body to help you. How are you not going to listen right. to a helpmate? And you know what man always talks about that in almost every interview is Denzel Washington, the way he talks about Pauletta in every single interview. He says he wouldn't even be where he currently is as an actor as if it wasn't for Pauletta investing in her. And, the and, same yeah. thing with Michelle and First Lady Michelle and our previous president, Barack Obama. He talks about the same thing. He wouldn't be president of the United States without Michelle. Absolutely. They like him at first night, right? Steve Harvey, you know, I'm Absolutely. just giving y'all all variety, yeah. right? Steve Harvey always talks about, and that's why he stands behind his wife, beside her in every attitude. Like he wouldn't. He's learned. 
He's learning. Girl. And I and I know y'all might know things behind the scene. We're not elevating anyone. But we're what not. we're saying is that guess who's a fashion icon right now? Steve yeah. Harvey. And he wasn't before. He's influenceable. Like, babe, you ain't wearing that. You ain't wearing all the baggy suits and them toupees and all. No, the Steve Harvey brand. Right. A Marjorie's coming in. And now we're looking at Uncle Steve with the green. You saw that green coat he had on the yeah. magazine? Yeah. He's feeling that, right? And so that's being influenceable. Right. And so that's the value of having a great woman in mm -hmm. your life is that you listen. That doesn't mean not being a do boy. Right. It doesn't mean you're just a do boy because y'all not going to respect that. Y'all not trying to date a son. Right. All right, let's keep it real, right? Put some respect on my name, right? But at the same time, if Mecca brings up something that's that's legitimate, mm -hmm. even something I disagree with, mm -hmm. I disagree with 50 something people in our house, 75, whatever it was for Easter. <laughs> Did I not disagree? I disagree. I All right, but she said, baby, we, we didn't do COVID. Um, we did. bring a family together. It's the last time uh, Raquel might be here. You know, right. how she not, may not come home for Easter again. Right. If we're going to do it, do it big, right? And then mm -hmm. I did fuss her the last year. Like, how are you going to invite this cousin and not this you cousin? You sure did. I did. So you 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 invited all the cousins. I sure did. And friends. And I, I didn't know who was in the house. Anyway. All right. But did y'all get the influenceability? Same thing with Mecca, right? I was like, hey, babe, we have to go to this conference. Blah blah blah, and y'all know how they treat ministers' wives, right? She had to go into duty. That they, they didn't, you know. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do, all right. And so the binocular vision is what you need. The ability to adjust into one single vision, even though it's two lens. Mm -hmm. All right, that'll preach right there in the one view. So being influenceable, and if you don't have a man who's willing to adjust to you, where do you exist? You don't exist. How can you be in a relationship if you don't exist? So, man, do you get it? If I'm, you know, and, and I didn't, I, we weren't taught this. Oh, be influenced. But I thought we just supposed to be strong. Like, girl, put some respect in my name. Right. They said it. No is no. And, and and then we end up getting divorced. Or we end up wondering what went wrong instead of realizing that we're supposed to be a blend. You get married and become what? Come on, y'all church folks. That's you get married and become one what? Type it in chat. Let's see who knows their Bible. You get married and then two become one what, y'all? One what? Thank y'all. Flesh. Thank you, Tori, Mina. Can we see you, Vivica? We, we, we see the people who know their Bible. One flesh. This and is Shana, the actual. Shisha. This is the actual manifestation. This is the practical application here. One flesh, one mindset. She says A, I say B, then we're going to be A times B. That's what we're going to be. That's, yep. that's what marriage is. But we weren't taught that. All right, so that's number two, influenceable. Y'all y'all enjoying this? Drop it in the chat. We want to give them one more? I just yeah. give them two. Give it, let's just go. give them two. No, let's let's go ahead. Give them, cash. Give, I'm, give them our cash app to get the third one. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right, all right. Y'all see that it's really Mecca though. Mecca is vicious when it comes to the signature. All right. I built the relationships. All right. So the last one, number three, is the ability to attune to your partner. And that means just tuning in. Mm -hmm. And let me give you an acronym. That means your ability to tune into the station. Like they may listen to jazz and you need to be able to name every instrument in that song. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all would like to be listened to so well, like a, a, someone listening to jazz? That's not even a jazz fan, but they can tell the horn. They can hear the strings. They can hear the drums. They can hear the trombone. They can hear everything that you're talking about. They can tell when you're hesitating with your words. Mm -hmm. They can tell with your body language. You say work is cool, but it's really not, right? They have the ability to talk talk to you and open you up for 30 minutes. How many of y'all would like 30 minutes of continuous conversation with a brother who's able to go deeper and mm -hmm. deeper and deeper because he's tuning into, he's not talking at you. Right. He's not talking around you. He's talking with you, right. to you. All right, let me give you a quick acronym so y'all know how to do this. And I'll go over this really quickly, mm -hmm. right? Um, awareness. Right. Awareness is being aware of your partner's emotions, needs and concerns. Like, do you see sister girl? Can you tell what's going on? Are you paying attention to her? This is something that I need to work on because I can be so busy with everything going on. Am I am I paying attention to what's going on with Mecca? Am I aware of what's going on? All right, T is turning towards, this is responding positively to your partner's bids for attention, affection, like you see me, you feel me, and you're in support. 
Tolerance. This means being like going into relationship. You want to be tolerant of your partner's perspectives and feelings. That means being cool and calm under pressure, man, and being tolerant that 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 you, your your wife, your your future girlfriend may not think the same thing. Right. She may not agree. She may think daughter can get a nose ring. Right. She may believe she can get a tattoo. You need to be tolerant of that to a degree. No, I'm not. Right. But I'm not judging. Right. It's for me and I. But we have one of our friends that's tatted up with sleeve. Right. Do your thing. Right. So um, tolerance. I need to be tolerant of different things. Like I had to be tolerant. Y'all saw Mecca was a fitness competitor. All right. Now, now I'm in church and Mecca posting these pictures going, pow, pow, pow. On the telling all you, pow, pow, all on Facebook. All, I said Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, <laughs> bam. And she was competing. And my ministry friend was like, thank you, your wife, fine in the month. Right? But sister girl was always in pageant. She was doing that when I met her. And I had to be tolerant of something right. that might be different from, from, from what I think my right. wife should be. It's not how crazy this is. Just to meet my total, but that doesn't make sense. All right. It's like a clone, right? Right. It is. And so I have to be accepting because she's definitely accepting. Y'all can tell my personality. She's accepting of my craziness. Yes, Lord. Right. Right. Like she had three kids and put little man down and we still teaching at nine o'clock. Yeah. Because I was on fire for this. All right. You is understanding. This is making an effort to understand your partner, their needs their emotions, what motivates your partner? And are you interested in knowing exactly what that is? Man, you cooking with hot grease. If you understand a woman that you get her, not agree with her. And I was not taught this y'all. So I'm, I'm, I'm helping y'all. Right. It's like, I feel you. I feel that you like the kitchen clean before you go to bed because it drives you nuts and you can't mm -hmm. sleep for some reason. Right. If the kitchen's not clean, I get it because it bothers you. And because I understand that, Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to move in that way. Mm -hmm. Non-defensive listening. Please read that one again for yourself. Come on. I set you up. Come on. Non-defensive listening. Oh, Lord. Listen to your partner without preparing to defend yourself or a counterattack. This, so this is not getting your getting your thoughts together and your points together when the person is actually trying to express their own feelings. This is actually listening, active listening, and not getting your own thoughts together at the same time. Yeah. So we're talking about men, but, but women are certainly guilty of this too, right? So non-defensive listening is important because we have to accept, look, you're not perfect. Mm -hmm. It feels good to say, yeah, you're right. I do need to go to the doctor. Yeah, you're right. After I turned 40, I did fall off, right? We're just saying, yeah, you're right about, you know, disciplining Christians. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Don't try and get cool points now. How many of y'all? She said, she was the one that wanted to have another child. We had a son, right? And I said, all right, let's do it. We into this thing. But if it's a boy, you got to let me, you got you to let me, you got to let me raise him. Hop, man, come on. Come on with me. Come on with me. Ride with me. You got you to gotta let him be a chip off the old block. You got you can't make, you, you, you can't make him a mama's boy. You got you to gotta let me, gotta let me tighten him up because baby boy's so cute and baby boy says, mommy, you're pretty. All right. She lets him get, throw stuff on the floor. Anyway. So when I say, let me get this boy now, let me tighten him up now. So I don't have yeah. to tighten him up later. Heart, heart. Right. So I appreciate you saying that. Right? I'm going to give you three points. We're going to see if you're going to do it. All right. And the last one is empathy, empathy, showing yes. empathy towards your partner's, you know, feelings and experiences. Mm -hmm. I, and, and, and since you threw some out there, I'll throw some out there. I get you love Christian. Mm -hmm. I get he, he He has you wrapped around he his does, finger. Yeah. And you're a great mom. You make sure. And you do the lion's share of parenting. I'm Thank not going to lie. You do the lion's share of parenting when it comes to him, you know, Trent, Ray, all right? And even with, with Trent, you do the lion's share, all right? So I I get you love. And he's cute. And he's and, and he, yeah, he gonna be, he's a charmer. He is a charmer. He has you, girl. He is a charmer. He has you. All, all your sales he melt them down right i i get that you love him and so it's harder for you to set limits with him because i don't know what it's like to carry anyone in my stomach i don't know i know how i am about our daughters i know i would fight a dude and go to jail willingly right over our daughters right so i know how it feels to to, to love and, and, and care for him yes yeah, thank you yeah yeah and if it weren't for me he'd still be breastfeeding he's almost great all right anyway Alone. All right. So, so, so do y'all get it? Y'all get it? So, so we've given y'all the three. Mm -hmm. We're going to give y'all three and we promise y'all two solutions. Do y'all right. get it? Can y'all see how influence of how, can y'all see how trustworthiness mm -hmm. plus 
influence ability. Yes. Plus the ability to attune to your partner makes a difference. So if you're a picker, if you, so you're talking about picking the man, right? Brother, are you trustworthy right. to him? Are you influenceable? Mm-hmm. And it's going to be easy. Hey, right. you know, and when you're asking for, uh, on, on, they type it in the chat, how you could ask it as a question, mm-hmm. right? Like brother, if I feel differently, if I want to go to the family reunion mm-hmm. and you're not really big on family reunions because your family, would you go to my family reunion? Right. Even though you don't know anyone like that. Hey, if I want our kids to go to private school, even though it costs $5,000 more and you're a public school kind of guy, would you at least be open to touring the private? school or daycare and comparing it are you just going to just shut me down you know the biggest time really quickly that i see this is that was influenceable by another child yes for a marriage retreat is i have wives every year that call crying because they want to come so badly to a weekend for love and their husbands won't come yeah that is a husband that's not influenceable. He's not influenceable. Right, right. And and so that's needed. So let's talk about the solutions, y'all. Yeah. Right. Let's talk about the solutions. All right. And so first one is a weekend for love marriage retreat, y'all. Weekend for love marriage retreat. Because there's nothing that can change a man more than him seeing other men doing those three things. That, that's how I learned. I'd never seen men talk to their spouses, looking at right. older men, how they treat their wives. I was yeah. able to learn from looking, even though I saw my father, you know, my, mm-hmm. both our parents are, we're blessed to have both of them together, but we didn't see this. They didn't, they didn't communicate in front of us right. to be able to see men taking care of their mm-hmm. wives to that degree, managing conflict mm-hmm. in that degree. All right. A weekend for love y'all. Yeah. Right. And a weekend for love. Yeah, so Weekend for Love this year is going to be in Cabo, November 7th through the 11th. But it is an amazing way that I've seen couples just rekindle their relationship, ignite the fire and the flame, because we have a lot of busy, high power professionals that just work, work, work all the time. And they're like, for the first time, they were able to actually truly pour into their marriage. And the couples come every year because they love the vow renewal. So they're able to renew their vows. We have a beautiful vow renewal. We have one of the top event planners in the U.S., uh, Michelle Ganey. And she is, I'm not just saying that, any celebrity wedding that you've seen, African-American celebrity wedding, she's probably done that one. Um, And so it's just an amazing time for couples to come together and to meet other like-minded couples. Listen, y'all. And so what y'all see is the vow renew is going to be in Cabo. Mm -hmm. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, less, less. And those of you all coming in the future, because we've had people, um, we drop it in the chat. Check it out. Their payment plans. And I'll be honest. This is not a picture from last year. Yeah. All right. Where were we? Play it. Play it. I can't remember. We, well, y'all said play it. Where were we? Play it at Carmen. Okay. Yeah. All right. And it was amazing at the Secrets Resort. Y'all see all these families, all yeah. these couples. I'm sorry. Even no kids. No all these kids. Couples. Yeah. This, no is kids. What you, this, 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 this is greatness right here. Now, I'll be honest. This is a luxury marriage retreat, y'all. Mm-hmm. This, this is a luxury. There's marriage retreats. Yeah. And then there's a weekend for love. Right. There's marriage retreats. And there's a weekend for love. This is not the church marriage retreat. We, we, right. We, we let y'all know when we do the church one, right? This is the luxury marriage retreat. So this is, this is, this is, this is the community mm-hmm. of couples that come together and we have a lion's den where the men get together, women get together. Yes. And then we just curate all these dates and we bring in the nightcap to help you have better sexual intimacy, yes. right? Of the vow renewal. And then we have super Saturday where we give you all, all the skills that you need to be able to tune in to one another and have a, a, a deeper relationship. And the cool thing about that, ladies and, 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 and gentlemen, the cool thing about A Weekend for Love is that it's the community. When I see right. modeling, when I see these other couples, I say, hey, we're not alone. Right. We're not alone in being able to 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 to, to talk about love and finances. Right. We're going to bring someone in and talk about financial planning towards wealth right. and wellness mm-hmm. right, and legacy. So y'all check mm-hmm. it out. It's going to be Let's see, see, Sharice already been there, y'all. So check that out and tell tell your pastors, tell tell them all about it a weekend for that's one solution. But I know y'all are saying some of us are single. Most of us are single. Right. Right. And so we have the ring formula cohort. The next cohort is getting ready to start. And we would love to have you join us. It is an amazing opportunity for women that want to take a deep dive, take their relationship, their dating skills to the next level. And it's just beautiful for me all the time when I see women who go from either not dating at all because they've gotten a divorce and it's been years since they've dated or they've waited for the kids to get out the house 
and now they're dating or women are just like, you know what? I need a strategy. I need a coach. So you have me as your female coach, the woman's perspective. You have Aldewan with his psychology um, and expertise as a therapist and us coaching you together towards finding the one, dating, getting out there and then where to go. We talked to you about everything from your dating profile online to actually showing up and becoming the one. And so we have a very simple formula, but we go very deep with you because we want you to become the one. We want you to attract the one, date the one, marry the one, and be happy with the one. But some of you all don't even know how to attract the one. So that is that is my area of expertise. I am in sales and I know where, where to be and how to be. And when I get there, how to show up. And so that's something that I want to teach you, make sure that you know how to do. The biggest surprise of the women in the ring formula cohort right is that they were absolutely wrong about where the good men are oh my god and they're like oh yeah. good men when we're done they're like man i did not know yeah i did not know because we talk about positioning we're not gonna preach right now but but ruth and boaz ruth was positioned at boaz's feet there's yeah. modern day positioning and men out there all right because if you look at the research really quickly Look at the research. Men are online in record numbers. Right. Right. Like the dating apps are not even close. I think it's 75 to 25 men to women. Right. Why is that? Men want to get married. Now, some of them only they're playing. Right. They're telling you grand rising in the morning and sending you the same cut and paste message. Right. Hey, we're not talking about those. You're not going to pick those anymore. Right. But the ones who want to get married because of the benefit, they men want to be 545 percent happier, too. Mm -hmm. Let's just keep it real. All right. Men want to have dual retirement or at least dual teamwork. However, you know, however you're doing it. Men want to expand their families too. Don't act like like mm -hmm. like everyone wants to be future. Mm -hmm. And right. man, no disrespect to either one of them. Right. They're probably very open. This is how it's gonna be, girl. Right. You'll get paid, but we ain't never gonna get married. Right. Never. Right. Never ever. But you see Sierra, she picked differently. Yes. And got Russell. Anyway. Yeah, she picked different, but I love that she mentioned mentioned Sierra because Sierra also got into a different environment. Come on now. Jeez. She got into a different environment in order to attract a Russell. She was not going to the same places anymore. You saw all of a sudden Sierra went from Atlanta, Sierra to walk in the runways of Paris and London and all these places. She got into a different place to attract a different type of man. And it took risk. It took faith. Like to leave future. And she's in the industry, mm -hmm. all right, to, to give a, a, and then who's going to, and, and you know how you think the negative limiting thoughts, mm -hmm. I already have a son by future. What man going to want to come in and raise future's oh, son and have to deal with that? And here come Russ. And let's ride. More than expected. They can't say let's ride. Oh, no, it's, 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 it's black and yellow, right. black and yellow. All right, y'all get it? But I'm saying that's a faith walk. That's yeah. a faith walk. And now look, baby boy, they have children's books and, and, and he's he's raising future son right. on yes. a regular basis. So y'all get it? Let me tell y'all what's in this package. Really. Oh, you know what? Let's give him the proof real quick. Okay. All right. So I want you all to meet Delisha. Delisha actually did, was not from Atlanta. She actually joined our group and said, you know what? I am ready to date towards marriage. I'm ready to meet the one. And Delisha actually met her current husband um, online after going through our course, after being coachable, changing how she got out and changing what she did and actually getting on the apps and the apps that we told her to get on, how to get on them, presenting the best version of herself. And now she is married here in Atlanta. Come on now. So some of you that say, hold on, this is a pause for a second, because I know I have women that are from Atlanta that are on this um, call tonight. If you are in Atlanta, which is our hometown, which is where we are, our home base, and you're like, oh, there's there's no great men here. She is actually one of two recently that have met their one here in Atlanta, Georgia. Come on now. Come on now. It's happening. Men want to get. And so here's the, here's the, here's the real deal, right? Like it takes strategy. Just mm -hmm. sitting at home, waiting. It is complicated. And that's why we walk you through the social, the, the, the dating profiles, where to meet men. And one of the requirements that we have before you finish our program mm -hmm. is that you are dating. Yeah. So if you're not you dating, to. you have no chance. So we're pushing. We're going to make sure you right. get the dates, mm -hmm. right? We'll give you the right mindset, the positioning. Right. You have to show up. Right. All right. So that's Delisha. All right. And then I have Patricia and I love Patricia because she was one of the, the ones, ladies that came in and said, you know, I'm older. All these ladies are younger that are part of the cohort. Can I find love at this age? And I told her, absolutely. You can find love at this age. And she is now engaged to be married. But she told us, honestly, she said, you know what? I realized that I didn't have a plan. 
I wasn't going to the right places to meet the type of professional men that I wanted to attract. And so we went through, we worked, worked with her side by side and this beautiful picture are her engagement photos. And and, and more of these are coming, right? Yeah. We've been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. right? We've been doing this for years. So here's the reality is that when you invest in yourself, when you make the investment and then you have people working with you and then the other women in the cohort are moving, it changes your mindset to like, whoa, when you start saying it, like someone said it's rough in Birmingham, you have someone else in the program in Birmingham and month free. Oh my they be like, I'm racking up at these political events. Then, I'm racking up at this chamber of commerce event. Well, I've opened up my dating app. Somebody in, in, in Alabama. Oh, for sure. In a small place in Alabama. So not even Birmingham, a place that's tinier than that. Because there are men in Alabama that's also looking for talent and around the areas and men that don't mind moving or moving you to come on we right say that y'all so listen the, the the reality here is that men are going to marry let me just keep it real regardless of limiting beliefs and i know there's a lot out there yeah men are going to marry and they're mm -hmm. not going to settle and mm -hmm. when men find the one when marriage-minded men and that's what you're going to be able to pick now mm -hmm. right you're going to be able to pick marriage. And now y'all only gotten a smidgen. Y'all haven't even gotten the whole thing. All right. Let's tell, let's tell you what you're going to get really quickly. All right. So in the ring formula masterclass, all right, it's about becoming the one, baiting the one, getting the one, gaining a commitment from the one and marrying the one. All right. And we give you a three month accelerator yeah. transformation. This is for women who want to go fast. Like right. I want dates now. Right. In your mindset now. Right. I want a full social calendar now. I want right. to work on my insecurities and social anxiety now. I don't want to get nervous when I'm in a room full of men. I want to be able to work the room, right. fascinate, flee and get comfortable talking to a man now. Right. Right. Um, and so it's the diamond package, which you want to go for yes. the diamond package you get the full mm -hmm. ring formula master class mm -hmm. you get five personalized so so not only do you get the master class right. i'm telling you how to do all it's amazing which yeah. is amazing as soon as you register you're gonna have this as soon as you have this you but you get five personalized coaching sessions yes with us in group so we're holding you accountable right. giving you resources when you're saying hey where's there to go in x y and z we are researching we're right. putting our team on it and right. you're gonna say wow i need notices in my own backyard mm -hmm. Someone had nerves that they didn't know where to go in DC. Oh I my god. After, after we were done with them, we were like, what are what what can I use broken English? What is you doing? Right? Where 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 were you going? Right. So anyway, um, and same thing with Philly. Yeah. Right? Change, yeah. change the whole thing. You're doing it wrong. And then you get one-on-one -on -one session with either yes. Mecca or myself. You yeah. choose, and you get a personalized blueprint plan that's catered to you. Yeah. To yeah. you. We listen to you. And so, mm -hmm. all right, here's the game plan. Y'all love it. Oh, y'all okay. love it. So and if you say, hey, you know, that's a little, you know, oh, and we offer payment plans. Yes. So when y'all go, y'all gonna see who 1997. Some of y'all like book it, right. book it. Some of y'all are booking it right now, right? We dropped the link in the chat. Some of y'all are booking it right now, right? Oh, and if you book it today, you book it right now, or in the next 48, 72 hours, if you put in in, in the checkout, if you put in ring, you're gonna get four hundred dollars off. Come All on, right. this this is this is a no brainer. No, this is easy. It absolutely. This is easy. Over three months, that's really nothing. That's less than y'all spend on a purse. I know because I bought you one. Not even a purse. I would say just the maintenance of women, like when it comes to the nails and the hair and the sewings, it's it's less than that. But honestly, it's not about the cost. It never is. It's about what you value in your life right now and the amount of what you're willing to invest in that thing. And I'll share that really quickly because I'm training for a half marathon. This is something I've decided to do. I'm turning 40 this year, super excited. But even with that half marathon, how am I preparing? What is a sacrifice? What sacrifice am I willing to make in order to get what I want, which is being able to complete the half marathon, make good timing and have an enjoyable race. So you have to decide, is this my season for love? I realized that what I've been doing in the past over the course of these past several years has not been working for me. So what am I willing to invest by just saying yes to myself? And a lot of times as women, we give so much to so many other people that we put ourselves last. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to things for ourselves, like getting a dating coach, right? Or getting a, a membership at a new gym with a trainer, it's like, oh, no, there's something else I need to spend my money on. No, it's time for you to invest in yourself. And yes, you actually um, can pay now and wait a couple of months to actually start. You just need, for someone asked in the chat, they said, can I pay now and wait a few months to start? That is fine. You can email email us directly. Um, you can actually email me. I'll put my um, email in the chat, which is mecca mtart at gmail.com. 
Again, that's MeccaMsHeart at gmail.com. What that will allow for you to do now is you can actually start going through the masterclass course, um, which I'm sure you will absolutely in, enjoy. It's very interactive. And then after you go through the course, that'll give you time to actually meet with us as well. Right. We've got to mm -hmm. tell you in the course, we have men talking about what exactly yeah. uh, they were looking for in their in their wife. And, yeah. the, and these are uh, great men. men. These yeah. are great men. Right. These are great men who we admire. Yeah. We're not going to put anyone uh, before you all. And, and then there's another option. We want to give you all options. Some of y'all are do it yourselfers. Right. I'm a big do it yourself or not like well, home improvement because Mecca gonna say you a lot. No. But, but I like to build stuff. I like to always be cutting edge and doing things. But the do it yourselfers, we have the gym package where you get full access to the master class. Now it's not the coaching. Right. Right. It's not the coaching, but you can go through there and get everything that you need. Right. We walk you through becoming the one. It's interactive workbooks and worksheets to help yeah. you work. This is actual therapy on yourself. Like, right. Right, what do I need to do? How right. do I become um, more self-confident? How do I pick differently? Mm -hmm. Where do I go when I'm there? What do I do? What do I say? How do I get a man into me? Mm -hmm. How do I do this? How do I move towards commitment and marriage yes and i want to um answer this question really quick because it came through the chat one of the two of the ladies mentioned that they're dating right now but they just need tools to help them along the way you are perfect for the course as well and going through our cohort because we do actually coach ladies real time as they are dating um whether it's early on in the dating process or whether they're trying to figure out if that person is their one Right. And gaining commitment because sometimes you are, it's the conversation, mm -hmm. right? It's the, a lot of times men are gun shy when it comes to marriage because mm -hmm. they've seen so much trauma, mm -hmm. right? What do you say? Mm -hmm. What's the approach? Like, how do you get him to be influenceable? Mm -hmm. How do y'all work through the issues? All right. But if y'all want one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'll tell y'all how to, how to do that as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So let us know who's in. Yeah. Let, let us know who's yeah. in. All right. Let us know who's in. If you're in there with us and you want to remember, we start May 14th, y'all. Yeah. Remember, there's payment plans for you to break this down. So you have two options. If you're married, you need to be at a weekend for love. You need to find a way to get there because one, three days, four days, we explain it to a day. Yeah. Our popular demand yeah. is going to change your marriage. Four days could change your marriage. What if? Just think about what you're going to spend in counseling. Right. Think about what you're going to spend in a, div a divorce. Right. Think about the cost of the kids. Mm -hmm. Think about having to change your status. Think about having mm -hmm. to take your ring off mm -hmm. when all you needed was four days of looking at strong marriages. Couples, Absolutely. couples, not perfect couples. Only God mm -hmm. is perfect. But couples who are willing to make perfect adjustments to stay together. A weekend for love is where you need to be, to be in the atmosphere. Right. We have a yeah. few slots open because the yeah. majority of people that come to Weekend for Love come to Weekend for Love over and over again. We have people yeah. who come six times, five. They've been in with us from the very beginning, our legacy yes. couples. Couple. So we want to see y'all in the place. And if you're single, ringfamula.com. Yes. It's a no brainer. Yes. It's a no brainer. We cannot yes. wait. Yeah. I'm excited about just really working with ladies that are highly motivated in the cohort. We always have women that are highly motivated. And I always say you have to make a decision that this year is going to be so very different for you. You have to make a decision because I think you, we all get to a point where we realize that, you know, this is just not working anymore. This is not working for us anymore. And so you can't continue to do the same thing over and over and over again and expect different results. You have to show up differently. And the way that you show up differently is by investing in yourself. And you have this amazing partnership in a team where you have a woman's perspective, you have a man's perspective, but you have a married couple on top of that. And so I'm excited. I'm always excited. So if you're joining us, if you're joining us in the Ring Formula cohort, the one that's coming up in May, please make sure, as Aldoa mentioned, that you type Ring in the actual checkout because you want to make sure that you get your discount for $400 off. And that's only going to be live for the next, what do you say, 72 hours? Yeah, 72 hours. And yeah. I guess I need to think about it. And just yeah. imagine, uh, yeah, we up here sweating because he's like, that. let's just imagine, just imagine how your life could change mm -hmm. to be able to have a man who is trustworthy, mm -hmm. have a man who's influenceable mm -hmm. and having a man who's able to attune to you, mm -hmm. to, to, to go to marriage retreats mm -hmm. with, to, to build family, to build legacy, to no longer be single because mm -hmm. you got serious. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You got serious about this. So you went from single to hopeful, to dating, to having multiple dating options, which we preach, mm-hmm. right? So that you could, you don't have to feel like you're settling and you, and you, it helps you become high value when right. multiple men are saying, I really mm-hmm. dig you. I have not met a woman right. like you, mm-hmm. right? And allowing you to be prepared for that. Mm-hmm. And then imagine just the, for those of you that have, God has put in you that I want you to expand your family, right? right? I, I want you to get remarried. Imagine what that feels like to be able to get married and, and post your own uh, stories on Facebook and Instagram mm-hmm. and to be able to tell your sorority sisters and your friends that I'm getting married. And how did you meet? Right. I, I did the ring formula. You don't have to tell them anything. Mm-hmm. Right. And so that's what we're excited about building family. But it starts with dating mm-hmm. and it's hard to date, which is why you need God's to right. give you a blueprint to make it easier so that you can get engaged and marry. And for those that want yes. better marriages, all you have to do is just show up. How cool mm-hmm. is if you're talking about I want to fix my marriage, all you have to mm-hmm. do is show up. Mm-hmm. Do you think about how difficult it is for your husband? And my guess is that your husbands are like me. We haven't seen right. 50 other 75 other men fighting for their marriage. Mm-hmm. Right. Willing to sit down and figure out how do I make my wife happy and how mm-hmm. do I and, and wives, how do we make our husbands mm-hmm. happy? And we mm-hmm. bring in experts. Right. You know, to to help you mm-hmm. and a vow renewal in one of the yeah. prettiest locations. You can't undo that marriage scene. Right. You if you're engaged, so it's engaged and 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 uh married couples and some of you all will be engaged by the time it comes around because that's november and listen the way my god works listen all it takes is a moment of time for things to change and it makes me think right now about one of the ladies from our last not the current cohort but the last cohort who had severe social anxiety had not been on oh, a date in think in two years Dude. and she is dating has she been- got two dates in one night because she took the challenge. She worked her ring formula plan. She positioned herself where we told her to position right. herself, yeah. right? And she ended up talking to, the, to the, the, the waiter and the server and or the bartender. No, it was the bartender. bartender. And she mm-hmm. stayed and had drinks. And two guys shot their mm-hmm. shots. And for her, that was enough. It was enough because one thing that she said when she, when she started was, I don't even know if men notice me. Mm. She said, I don't even know if men notice me. So for the first time after her going through the actual course, real time going out on dates, because we're going to move you. We are keeping you accountable. She was like, wow, I'm I'm being noticed for the first time. She changed her look, got she a new hairstyle. Confidence went completely up from the time she started to the middle of her cohort. So listen, like we don't, you know, listen, either you're in or you're yes, in. Yes. We're excited about it. coaching. Listen, you any questions? Listen, we, we we love working with y'all. Hopefully you gain value tonight. So as men, you know the three things to look for because we want to always evolve and be great at relationships. Are uh, we going to send this recording out? It's going to go in the uh, go out in the morning. So you share this with your friends and family. Share this with your man. Yes. Right. And say, babe, I need, let's talk about these three things. Yes. Let's talk about this marriage retreat. Share this with your girlfriends. Come yeah. on into the ring formula yeah. together yeah or, 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 or i don't tell them you know, get you a man first and then tell them right like, like why, why give away all the secrets right because women in our in, in our cohorts they're gonna date right so it starts may 14th but as soon as you sign up you have access to this so that you come on in to the program you can actually get your one-on-one session even before we start right right get this thing yeah and great question the the session is 9 p.m eastern standard time and we do that because we have ladies that join from the West Coast, Mountain Time, East Coast, Word. and we have ladies that are joining out of the country. We've had someone from Bali, someone from Dubai, Thailand, I mean, Thailand. We have women from all over, and so 9 p.m. is our sweet spot for our time frame that it seems to work for everyone. Eastern Standard, Eastern Standard Time, all right? And then we record Sunday. the sessions if you miss it, but you're not mm-hmm. gonna miss them. So, oh yeah, you don't. So we're excited, y'all. Any any questions? We're here. We're here for a couple more minutes, y'all. And so I'm excited. So we're thankful. We're thankful that you all spend this time. This is this is our ministry. We're excited. We know that for you getting those three things and pre-screened on these days, these brothers are going to be like, what do you want me coming here? Right. And you're going you're gonna to take the riffraff. Right. So just, just, just heads up, you're going to get less men. 
You gotta right. be honest. Yeah. You're gonna get less men coming at you. Right. Right. Like they're not gonna make it past the screening process. Yep. But just like a company, when they ask for a CEO, they're mm-hmm. gonna get less candidates. Yep. If you ask for a janitor, no disrespect to that to that profession it's a noble profession right but you're gonna get a lot of people because you don't have to do very much right but if we're looking for a ceo who has experience right you're gonna get less so you're gonna get less men coming to you but you're gonna get more quality Mm -hmm. and that's call a great picker Mm -hmm. not everyone deserves your heart how many of you have have it says in the bible guard your heart and you were so nice so loving you put yourself last. Yep. And what happened? Your heart, you didn't guard your heart. You gave your heart away to someone that did not respect it or mm-hmm. could not match the love that you gave out. And that's what we want to end tonight. So if you get nothing else out of mm-hmm. this, one mm-hmm. thing is we want to make sure that you have those three things. And then for those of you who choose to work with us and say, hey, this is this, this little bit, mm-hmm. what else do they have to offer? Right. Let's let's go for it. Mm-hmm. And let's go get it. And and let me go get a man. Let me go get because because we really do expect you to date. Right. And every three to six months, our emails come yeah. say, "Hey man, another new testimonial, another right. testimonial, another testimonial, mm-hmm. another testimonial." I didn't know that right. there were men like this that were out yep. there. Right. And we, they don't know that you exist. They're mad. They don't know that you exist. That's the they, thing. Do you know? All right, because I because I have the luxury. All right. So, so Mecca, you're in front of doctors. Mm-hmm. Most doctors that you see who are cardiologists, are they men or women? Most of them are men. All right. And so, and you've been doing this how long? I started in 2006. And the single cardiologists out there and all the, and, the, and what, what, what's the name of the doctors that were dealing with the stomach before you were dealing with them? Oh, gastroenterologists. Got gastroenterologists. That's very male dominated. Right. There's very few. Did, 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 did they tell you they were not looking, the ones that were single? Oh, they're always looking. Men say it's just as hard for them to find great women. It's There's a lot of quantity out there, but when you talk to great marriage-minded men, they tell you it is difficult trying to find a wife. So sometimes the answer is knowing how to position yourself mm-hmm. and to be, seen. be high value. Mm-hmm. When you're high value, when he meets you, mm-hmm. you're going to be good to go. Right. right? And I'm around men all of the time. I mm-hmm. see a lot of women, of course, mm-hmm. but I'm around men because I am a man. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you, but my single brothers, they say it is excruciatingly hard because they don't know where to find you. The average man gets rejected 90 times before one person mm-hmm. ask him one for y'all mm-hmm. before y'all ask him on a date or request his request for a date. Do y'all realize that? Right. 90 times. That's why men are mad because mm-hmm. all of y'all want the one percent man. All of y'all are swiping. And it's because of the apps. It's mm-hmm. not your fault. There's nothing wrong with you, sisters. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's not going to choose the one percent? Right. If you if you give me all these NBA players to have on the on the Hawks, you think you think I'm going to choose? I love Trey Young. I'm not going to choose Trey. I'm choosing Luca. I'm choosing LeBron. I'm choosing Giannis. I'm choosing Dame. I'm cho- I'm choosing Steph Curry. I'm going to choose the top one percent. Already done it. All right? right. But what we do is allow you to be able to find that high value man. Right. Position. Anyway, y'all got it. Yeah, y'all got it. We're just excited, y'all. We're talking yeah. excitement. All right, listen, we're gonna, we're gonna pray. If all hearts and minds are clear, y'all can tell we're church folks. Uh, we're gonna let y'all go to bed. We appreciate y'all for 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 tuning in. And if, if you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all something real quick. Another resource. I'm gonna drop it in the chat right now. If those of y'all say, hey, look, if y'all are gonna pull a Denzel. Y'all might pull a Denzel, say, look, uh, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to do these things, but I'm going to leave here with something. I'm going to leave here with something tonight. All right. I want you to go to drtart.com courses. Right. And I have some courses on there on setting boundaries. I think it's going to be blessing, blessing. Well, I think it's $97, something like that. Something so affordable. Uh, you, you, And it has a payment plan. Right. I mean, there's no excuses. And there's one on grief and loss for any of y'all dealing with mm-hmm. grief and loss. And anyway, so we're excited. Mac and I are glad that you joined us. And let's offer it. Listen, ladies, it's go time. May 14th, we are ready for you all. It is go time. So for my ladies that are ready to get the ring, ready to make it happen, I'm super excited about both of us being your coach. And I appreciate you, babe, because uh, y'all can tell, like, Mecca would rush down here while getting baby boy together. So I appreciate it. I I, I appreciate you, uh, you know. Having to put clothes back on after laying this man down. I try to tell you, try to tell you, don't go to sleep with him. Anyway, um, so when we love y'all, let me pray. You want to, I'll pray and you pray about it. This is important to marry a praying wife, y'all. Come on now.
Uh, gracious Lord, we thank you for today, Lord. We thank you for everyone uh, who watched this, Lord. Whatever moved in their spirit, Lord, we, whatever quickened in their spirit, Lord, to be able to walk in faith, Lord. We're just a couple of weeks outside of Easter, and we know on Friday and Saturday, uh, it looked bleak. It looked like Jesus was gone. It looked like the answer was gone. It looked like there was no hope. There was despair. Everywhere around us was corruption. It was just government. It was people that when you say you are who you are, when you say you're the son of God, they tell you that you're lying, right? And, and we know that, that, that those who say, hey, you know, I want to get married. And other people are like, no, no. The world says you're lying. You, you're not going to do that. Who are you to deserve this, Lord? But we know that Friday and Saturday is not Sunday. Lord God, we know that there was a resurrection moment on Sunday, Lord, and that you live everlasting, Lord. We ask and pray, Lord, that there's a supernatural anointing on anyone, everyone watching this real time and later, Lord, into the future to know that you are God and that you are moving in their spirit and you would not give them the desires of their heart to disappoint them, Lord. Now, we know we can't manifest things outside of your will, Lord. We have to be respectful. We have to be honest in our approach, Lord. But we ask and pray, Lord, for them to be able to operate in liberating beliefs, to be able to move forward forward, to have that Queen Esther spirit, to be able to advise the King and save the people. Lord God, we just ask and pray, Lord, that you allow them to be able to study the scriptures and move forward and know that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and gains value in the Lord. And men have not forgotten that, Lord. And we ask and pray for the husbands that are watching this right now, mm -hmm. that they are saying, these are the three things I never knew. I get my ways are wrong. I never knew I was supposed to be influenceable. I thought I was supposed to be strong. Lord God, give them a new strong, the, the, the strength to be able to keep their marriage together, to be able to keep their family together, to be able to blend that family together, to be able for their wife to say, my husband makes sure I don't want for anything. My husband adapts and adjusts to be able to keep those uh, promises. Lord, to be able to tune in and listen to his wife and, and wife listen to her husband. Lord, boyfriend and girlfriend, engaged couples that are watching this, to be able to tune in and use their acronym to be able to get deeply. God, you know the thoughts in our mind. You say before a thought is uh, uh, in our head, you already know it. You know the number of hairs on our head, you say in Matthew, Lord. You know when we rise and when we go to bed, you know everything, Lord. And so we ask and pray, Lord, that you allow them to move in a mighty spirit and feel your will and feel your spirit and move forward into a healthy, happy, amazing marriage. Dear Lord, I thank you for every single woman, every single man that's listening in, that's watching this real time for those of you who are re-watching this um, for the information. We thank you, dear Lord, for giving us the opportunity to pour into every single person this evening. I ask, dear Lord, that you give them the belief the belief they need in order to see themselves walking down the aisle, because we know that you have to envision where you want to be, dear Lord. So we thank you for the renewed faith, dear Lord, and the belief of where they can be. We also thank you, dear Lord, for them doing the work, because we know that he's not going to show up in an Amazon box. We know that he's not going to show up in the mailbox. So we have to get out and do the work to be able to position ourselves to be able to be seen. Dear Lord, that's going to cause for some of us to be in a place of uncomfort, being in a place where we're not comfortable. But we know in order to grow, in order to stretch, we must be in a place that does not feel comfortable. Dear Lord, we thank you for just giving us the consistency and the confidence to be able to step out and to be able to step into this season and claim it as our season. I thank you, dear Lord, for all of the engagements and the weddings and the dates that are going to come out of the women that join the cohort and all of the renewed marriages that are going to come out of the couples that attend a weekend for love, because we know the blessing of just being in the environment with like-minded couples. I thank you, dear Lord, for this moment in time in this space um, to be able to spend this time with all of these people from all over the world. And I thank you, dear Lord, for the work the amazing things that are about to happen into their life because of their belief that it can be, being able to have vision around that and doing the work to make it happen. And God said, we pray, amen. Amen. So we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. And you'll be hearing from us. You're going to get an email in the morning yeah. with more resources. You're going to get more resources, more resources. We want to make sure that we have a relationship with you and that we're giving you tools to be able to have amazing relationships because the more marriages we have, mm -hmm. the better, uh, the stronger our churches are and the stronger our churches are, the stronger our community is, the stronger mm -hmm. our community is, the stronger our people are.
right and so we're excited about it we love you yeah. we, you could have been anywhere in the world right now there's a lot of different options for you to be and we appreciate you rocking with us and we're gonna rock with you so those of you that signed up welcome you'll hear from us very soon yeah. for those of you who need to talk it over uh with, with your king with your queen yeah. we'll see you shortly yeah for those of you i need to get, 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 your, get your dollars 14 but you want to sign up in the next 72 hours for the discount the discount code is ring um, and then also a weekend for love is November 7th. So to secure your spot, one of the few spots that's left, make sure you go to a weekendforlove.com. We'll see you soon. Good night. Yeah, take care. God bless. Be well.